Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about integrating multivariable functions with respect to one variable. So let's look at some examples. So first let's go back to like calc 1 for a second. Let's say you have x squared dx. So we have a function of one variable, x squared, and we're integrating with respect to x. So you use the power rule, so you add 1, so you get x cubed, and then you divide by that number, and then you, you put a plus c. And so let's recall the reason we put the plus c here. When you take the derivative with respect to x of x cubed over 3 plus c, well, you just take the derivative of each piece. This will be 3x squared over 3, and c is a constant, so its derivative is 0. So we simply end up with x squared, which is the integrand. So the reason we have the plus c in calculus 1 is because c can be any number. It could be 2, 5, 6, negative 15, pi, e, any number we want. And the derivative of any number, which is also called a constant, uh, is 0. So we have to add the c. So this integral has infinitely many solutions, one for each choice of c. All right, now let's move to functions of two variables. Let's consider the integral of x, y with respect to x. So now our function is a function of two variables. It's x times y. So again, when we integrate with respect to x, we hold the y constant. It's just like partial differentiation, right? We, we hold the y constant. So we integrate the x. There is a 1 here. So we simply get x squared. The y hangs out. And we divide by 2. But then we're not just adding um, a constant. We're adding a constant function. So we add a function of the other variable. So when you integrate with respect to x, you're supposed to add an unknown function of the other variable. Let's check why. It's because if you take the derivative of this with respect to x, well, we know that the derivative of anything with the y is 0, right? So we would just get back our original function, right? If you took if you took the partial derivative, let's say, of this with respect to x, what would happen, right? Let's see. Well, we, we would hold the y constant, so we would get 2x y over 2 plus, and then when we take partial derivatives, we know that we hold all of the y's constants, so this is 0, so we simply get x, y, so it's the integrand. So the rule is this. When you integrate with respect to x, you have to add an unknown function of y. So let me write that down. So if you integrate with respect to x, you have to add a function of y. So add a func of y. Likewise, if you integrate with respect to to y, you add a func of x. Add a func of x. Let's do one more example just, just to make sure you got it. So if you integrate with respect to x, you add an unknown function of y. Let's go ahead and integrate with respect to y. So this time the x is constant, so we get x. Then we integrate the y, so we add a 1, because right, there's a 1 here, and then we divide by 2. So we integrated with respect to y, so we have to add an unknown function of x, which I'll call c of x. So that's it. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. This comes up a lot uh, when we get to potential functions. Also, if you study differential equations, um, when you solve exact equations, it's pretty much the same thing, and it comes up there as well. So I hope this video uh, has made sense. That's it.